What's going on, guilty guys and gals? Welcome back to Hunger Games Simulator. Uh, this is that Space Jam episode I was talking about where I got the leaked script of Space Jam 2, so let me read an excerpt from it right now. Um, well, this is basically just a plot summary. So, you know that interdimensional goo or whatever that transported the Looney Tunes into the real world in the first movie? Well, now it's breaking space and time. Presidents from U.S. history are coming back into current year for the 2020 election, along with the Looney Tunes, because this is a Space Jam movie, and they all have to campaign against each other. How does it end in Hunger Games? I don't know, but it does. Let's go into our candidates. We've got Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck, <laughs> of course. Also, can I just question the world on why there are so few renders of the Looney Tunes? They're like some of the most, like, well-known cartoon characters, but a lot of them barely have any renders that aren't horrible <laughs> tattoos. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyway, Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck classics. Um, bit of a rivalry going on there. Next we have Sylvester and Granny. Again, bit of a rivalry there. Granny is maybe the most um, professional combatant of all of the Looney Tunes. Let's be honest. Next we've got Yosemite Sam and Elder... Elder Fudd, <laughs> Elmer Fudd, um, the human characters for the most part with weird, weird proportions. Uh, then we've got Lola Bunny and Tweety Bird. Uh, so they're here too. I mean, they were in the first film. That's where Lola started, so that's good. The Tasmanian Devil and Marvin the Martian. I love Marvin the Martian. I, I was going to try to do his voice and then I forgot what it sounded like immediately. Ah, there it is. Sort of like that. I was going to destroy your planet. So, something like that. Anyway, Roadrunner and Wile E. Coyote, because of course. We've got Bill Clinton, Ronald Reagan, uh, John Kennedy. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I started saying their first names. I specifically started doing this because I couldn't remember their first names. Because I'm Canadian, not American. Um, <clears throat> it starts with an F, because I know it's FDR. But Roosevelt, both Bushes... Um, Jefferson, Madison, Washington, Lincoln, Obama, and Trump. Alrighty, let's get into it. <clears throat> the tributes stand on their podiums. As the tributes stand on their podiums, the horn sounds. Washington and Lola fight for a bag. Lola gives up and retreats. Okay, great. Trump runs away. Accurate. Uh, Wiley Coyote finds a bag full of explosives. <laughs> <laughs> Acme explosives. Sylvester runs away. Roadrunner snatches a bottle of alcohol and a rag. <laughs> How? <laughs> okay. Elmer Fudd runs away. Daffy finds a backpack of camping equipment. Alright. Uh, Kennedy clutches a first aid kit and runs away. Oof. Oof. Uh, <laughs> I was just thinking in reference to, you know, him being one of the few assassinated presidents. Um, anyway. Bugs Bunny runs away. <laughs> Tasmanian Devil falls into a frozen lake and drowns. Well... I thought he was going to be one of our big players, but nope, instantly gone. <clears throat> Granny snatches a bottle of alcohol on a rag. <laughs> Hardcore. Bush 2 runs away. Reagan runs. Uh, Tweety runs. Roosevelt grabs a backpack, not realizing it's empty. What a guy. Madison runs. Obama runs. Clinton runs. Bush rips a mace out of Marvin the Martian's hands. Yosemite Sam runs away. Jefferson finds a bag of explosives and Lincoln grabs a shovel. All right. No, well, actually, Tasmanian Devil is dead. Uh, Reagan, Yosemite Sam, Washington, Jefferson, and Roosevelt hunt together. Wiley Coyote sets an explosive off, killing J Bush too. <laughs> uh, there's no cartoon f physics to save uh, Bush, you know. <clears throat> Obama and Tweety Bird are <laughs> working together. <laughs> This is so stupid. Okay, Madison gets a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Daffy Duck explores the arena. Granny sees smoke rising in the distance, but decides not to investigate. Sylvester kills Lola Bunny as she tries to run. <laughs> Trump and Bugs Bunny work together for the day. Oh no, I know what that red background means now. Bugs Bunny, how could you? Tweety Bird is working with Obama and Bugs Bunny is supporting Trump. <laughs> Bush, Marvin the Martian, Roadrunner, and Kennedy raid Lincoln's camp while he's out hunting. And Clinton attacks Elmer Fudd, but he manages to escape. <laughs> Can I ask why Bill Clinton has one of the funniest looking faces I've ever seen? 
I don't, I don't understand that. Anyway, the arena's border begins to rapidly contract. Wow, this is like day two. Um, <clears throat> Why the Coyote survives. Bush and Clinton attempt to run through the border together, so they're dead. Roadrunner survives, of course. Madison is electrocuted and dies. Granny restrains Reagan to a tree and leaves him to die. <laughs> I guess that's what that blue background means then. Hmm. Uh, Bugs Bunny survives, because of course he does. Lincoln pushes Kennedy into the border while he's not paying attention. Lincoln! Wow, okay. Obama restrains Washington to a tree. Obama, what? Okay. Uh, Marvin survives. Daffy Duck survives. Jefferson's electrocuted and dies. Yosemite Sam dies. Elmer Fudd survives. Thinking they could escape, Tweety Bird and Trump attempt to run through the border together. And Roosevelt restrains Sylvester to a tree and leaves him to die. Well, 14 deaths. <laughs> This is the, like, most savage game, and it's Presidents versus Looney Tunes. <laughs> um, yikes. Uh, Wily e. Coyote convinces Marvin the Martian to snuggle with him. <laughs> They're both the schemers. Granny and Roadrunner talk about tributes still alive. Roosevelt tends to his wounds. Fudd tracks down and kills Bugs Bunny. He finally got that wascally wabbit. Yikes, okay. And then Obama decapitates Daffy Duck with a sword. <laughs> Jesus. I guess it was both duck season and rabbit season. <laughs> and Lincoln starts a fire. Wow. Uh, wow, it's the feast too. This is day two. And it's already, okay. Obama, Granny, and Lincoln track down and kill Elmer Fudd. <laughs> <laughs> Marvin gathers as much food into a bag as he can before fleeing. Wiley doesn't go to the feast, and Roadrunner destroys Roosevelt's memoirs out of spite. <laughs> what? Uh, day two. Granny stalks the Roadrunner. Roosevelt defeats Lincoln in a fight, but spares his life. Eh, that seems maybe accurate. Wiley Coyote receives more explosives! <laughs> okay, the sponsor isn't unknown, though, you know? We know it's Acme. <laughs> Marvin injures himself and Obama collects fruit from a tree. <laughs> Bugs, Daffy, and Fudd. So, how much is left? One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> wow. Okay. <clears throat> Roadrunner starts a fire. Marvin the Martian shoots an arrow at Granny but misses and kills Roosevelt instead. <laughs> Wiley Coyote begs for Lincoln to kill him. He refuses keeping Wiley Coyote alive, and Obama gets lost. <laughs> Lincoln goes hunting. Obama constructs a shack. Wiley Coyote diverts Granny's attention and runs away. Marvin discovers a cave, and the Roadrunner injures himself. Just Roosevelt. <laughs> Wiley Coyote questions his sanity. Roadrunner pushes Obama off a cliff during a knife fight? That makes so much sense. <laughs> After all the cliffs he's pushed Wily e. Coyote off of, of course that's his preferred method of killing. Anyway, rip Obama. Lincoln receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Marvin the Martian convinces Granny to snuggle with him. Okay. <laughs> Granny tends to Marvin the Martian's wounds. These two are teaming up. It's crazy. Roadrunner falls into a frozen lake and drowns. <laughs> Lincoln falls into a pit and dies. What is going on right now? And Wily e. Coyote discovers a river. We're like final, what, final three? Yeah, final three. Wiley Coyote destroys Granny's supplies while she's asleep, while Marvin the Martian is screaming for help. <laughs> Wiley Coyote scares Martian off. Granny hunts for tributes. Whew. Night five. Granny and Wiley Coyote tell stories about themselves to each other while Marvin is receiving medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Wiley Coyote dies of dysentery. Well, Marvin the Martian strangles Granny after engaging in a fist fight. Which means your 2020 presidential campaign winner is Marvin the Martian. <laughs> I was good. Uh, you know, I can't really do it. Usually when I'm going to do a voice, I have like a key phrase, you know. And with Marvin the Martian, I just know what the voice sounds like, but I have to get to it. <laughs> hey. I'm now the ruler of Earth. Eh, that was terrible. But he is. He's the ruler of Earth now. <laughs> the United States, but still. Oh my god. That was simultaneously the fastest and also most intriguing game we've had. 
So, yeah, Obama got the most kills. <laughs> Powerful. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so stupid. All right, like and subscribe. That means Marvin the Martian will be moving on to our grand finale game, which is well off still, but hey. Uh, if you've got any suggestions for any other Hunger Games ideas I can uh, do, leave them in the comments below. I might uh, change them up a bit to make them a bit wackier like this, but I believe you guys can be suitably wacky. <laughs> like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye!